And good morning again, Bishop Ryan, and welcome back to another great week. This past Saturday was Earth Day, a good reminder that Christ calls us all to be good stewards of the world that we live in. In particular, Bishop Ryan, I encourage you to think about the age-old model, reduce, reuse, recycle. As a society, we focus a lot on recycling, and I encourage you all to give some thought to ensuring that, that you recycle the resources that you use when you're able to do so. Your classroom recycling bin is a great place to start. Beyond that, though, in working backwards, try to stick with resources that you can reuse, such as metal and glass water bottles. What can you be using to reduce your environmental footprint? Can you give up some of the items you like that come heavily prepackaged in plastics, papers, or metals? Congratulations to our boys indoor soccer team, who two Fridays ago won their city championship. And of course, congratulations to the members of the BR Expression, BR Fusion Band, BR Junior Expression, the Celtic Audacity Dance Squad, and the Celtic Drumline on the success of last week's Spring Gala Concert. A particular thank you to the event facilitators led by Mr. Pilo, Mrs. Boss, and Mr. Pickley. I hope you had a chance to see our Celtics on stage last week. If not, you missed quite a show. Our robotics team, Celtics 5406, continues to compete at the World Championships in Houston, Texas. Follow them online for updated results. This Wednesday is Administrative Professionals Day. Take the time to celebrate our secretarial staff by reminding them this week of all the great contributions that they make to our school. One day later on Thursday, you'll have an opportunity to elect your student council for the 2023-24 school year. Speeches will be shown on the morning announcements this Thursday, so teachers please do understand that these announcements will be longer than usual on Thursday. Students, voting instructions will be communicated. This is your opportunity to have your voice heard. Take the time to get to know the candidates and understand the issues. Vote for the right candidate, the one who will represent you well. This Friday is Educational Assistance Appreciation Day. As you see our friendly EAs in your classrooms or walking in the halls this week, remind them about how much you appreciate the vital role that they play within our community. And the busy week doesn't stop there. If you can imagine, this Friday is also a PD day. So all students will remain home on this day, and staff will be taking the opportunity to learn together on a variety of topics given to us by the Ministry of Education, including anti-black racism, anti-sex trafficking, and subject-based curricular workshops. Midterm report cards will be issued via email to parents' guardians mid sometime this week. This is the time to reflect on your progress in your classes. Are you where you want to be? If not, there is still time to change it, but it must begin now in a positive and a meaningful way. Need some additional help? Start by conferencing with your teacher. Maybe meet with your guidance counselor for assistance. Try our friendly teachers in student success or special education for extra help with your courses. Wishing you a good start to the week, Bishop Ryan, and now for more WRBR. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. My name is Daniel. And I'm Logan. These are your morning announcements. We only have a few spots left for those interested in participating in the Pilgrimage Walk for Justice this coming Sunday, April the 30th. By participating, you are eligible to receive up to 10 hours of community service. That's nice. Drop by Chaplain Tom Umson's office for more information. Thank you, Bishop Ryan. This important message goes out to all students and staff who require an updated school ID card. Please note that ID Distribution Day will take place this Thursday, April 27th, in the Forum. The purpose of ID Distribution Day is to get new cards into the hands of staff and students who received a card earlier this year which needed to be reprinted due to errors, including the misspelling of a name, missing OEN number, or, and or barcode. If your original card had errors, please bring it with you to the forum and it will be exchanged for a new card. Students who reported that they have not received their ID cards yet can also pick up a copy. Students must be present to obtain their own ID card. No cards can be picked up by friends. Cards will be distributed in the forum this Thursday by Ms. Bensetic and Ms. Kenoit during periods 2, 3, and 4. Students with period 1 spare are welcome to grab their card in the morning following announcements. 
Students who require an updated card are asked to come by the forum on their lunch break. Teachers, please do not under any circumstances excuse students from class to obtain a card. Again, students are asked to come to the only on their lunch break. This announcement goes out to all grade 11 and 12 students who participated in a visual art course this, this school year, as well as members of the Celtic Art Club. Ms. Bintek's current senior visual arts classes will be welcoming a special guest speaker this Wednesday in the art room. Our visiting artist will focus on providing students with more information about advanced interior design studies at Sheridan College's Institute of the Arts, as well as a deeper look into the recent successful journey to employment as an advanced interior designer. If interior design is something you're considering or are interested in learning more about, please come see Ms. Bensack today in the art room to sign up for one of two art talks happening this week. Again, to sign up for an art talk, please come see Ms. Bensack today in room 221 West, that's the upstairs art room, on your lunch period or immediately following dismissal. Follow WRBR.news for all your Celtic stories and we'll be right back, BR. Good morning, BR. It's Opay and Mac here with a few announcements from the grad committee. This Friday, April 28th, is the absolute last day to purchase the graduation dinner dance tickets for $70 each on School Cash Online. Guest tickets and table selections are also due this Friday. All info and forms to fill this information out can be found on the Grade 12 LMS page on Instagram. This Sunday, April 30th, is also the last day to submit any photos or videos over the last four years for graduates to be highlighted in our graduation video montage. That's all from the grad committee. Stay tuned for more WRBR. Bishop Ryan, and there's a little snippet of uh, the weekend that was. And so thank you very much to Mr. Lawler for uh, all of the thank yous. This past Thursday and Friday night were some of, dare I say, the greatest nights in my personal and professional life. Work pays off, and we did absolutely fantastic. That full video uh, is coming soon, and so I want to say a big thank you to uh, Mr. Frank Zakiel for putting that together for us, for recording the entire evening, as well as Mr. Hall uh, for all of your tireless efforts, uh, and as well the benefits, uh, or sorry, the hard work of the uh, BR promo kids as well for all the shots that they took. So lots of great photos and video coming from our weekend for those of you that missed it. And the entire video will be posted to our YouTube channel as well. Of course, we want you to be there live next year as we continue to put BR music back on the map. The first thing that I want to do for our Celtics is to let you guys know that there are no musical rehearsals happening this week. Listen to me. I'm not running a thing. We're done. We earned it after last week. And uh, so nothing today after school. Uh, Drumline um, on Tuesday, no, of course not, and, uh, and um, expression Wednesday, no, all right? So uh, a lot of us are involved in the play now, and so focus is going to shift over there. You guys are going to get busy for getting ready for Mary Poppins at the end of the uh, end of May, and I'm very excited to, uh, to uh, promote that and support that as well. So no rehearsals this week. I just want to say a big thank you uh, from the depths of my heart for all of your hard work, Celtics, because from October uh, until April, we built this incredible show that really did help to put BR Music back on the map. I want us to process something for a second, and I'm speaking specifically to anybody who performed in these shows, okay? We entertained about 4,000 people over two days. I did the math. All right. Uh, we had feeder school shows happening at 500 apiece, uh, two shows. That's a thousand kids. Right. Then another 500 at nighttime each night. You guys did incredible. You did incredible. And you should be so proud of all of your efforts. It means the world to me uh, to be uh, back here and, and helping to run these incredible groups. I want to shout out my incredible colleagues, Ms. Boss and Mr. Pickley. Thank you for uh, helping uh, to make our first gala night in three years an absolute success. And again, 
There's lots of you that don't know what gala is. It's coming back. It's a yearly tradition. We're going to do this yearly, for God willing, the next 20 years, as long as I... <laughs> Let's do it. Let's ride it out. Um, you can hear the impacts of, uh, of my voice still from the weekend. It was an absolutely uh, incredible couple of days. And I, again, I just want to say thank you. No rehearsals this week. Uh, you can continue to follow the Instagram for any further updates. The next thing that we will get ready for, uh, Celtic Fusion, will be Band Fest on May the 11th. So we will start rehearsing uh, um, again after this week, probably. I just want to give this week off just because we've earned it. So Band Fest is at uh, St. John de Brebeuf on May the 11th. And Expression, we have a performance at Wonderland in June. Uh, and any uh, performing musician will be uh, able to attend that. I think we're probably going to cap that trip somewhere around 100 just for buses. Um, but uh, we have that coming up as well. So lots coming up, but nothing this week. Get some rest because you earned it. Thank you so much to all of our musicians and to our entire BR community. And now back to WRBR. Good morning, BR. It's Cheryl here with a couple short announcements. Semi-formal is taking place next Thursday, May 4th, from 6.30 to 10.30 p.m. Tickets are no longer available to purchase, and we're excited to see everyone there. Student Council elections for the 2023-2024 school year will be taking place this Thursday through WRBR. Election speeches will be played in the morning announcements, and students can cast their vote through the great LMS. Lastly, follow us on Bishop underscore Ryan SC to stay updated on further, on further events. We have something big coming soon. Stay tuned for more WRBR. Hey, BR, we're back with your sports announcements. That will be a final tryout for the Junior Girls Badminton team tomorrow after school. Once again, final tryouts for the Junior Girls Badminton team tomorrow after school. And finally, one fabulous thank you to all those who supported Float Your Float Friday WRBR fundraiser. We enjoyed a sweet start to the weekend and look forward to serving our Celtics very soon for another float event. The cola ones were my favorite personally. I don't know about you, Dan. That's all for today. We will be posting new items on our socials. Look for yourself there at WRBR.news. Have a great day, BR, and happy Monday.